So when introducing a new dog to a home, it can be extremely stressful for the new dog as well as the resident dog. Um, so the first impression is really important and sets the tone for their entire relationship. So when you're first introducing um, a new dog to a resident dog, you should think to choose a neutral location. This can either be a park, a training center, or a neighbor's yard, like if you don't feel like traveling far. You should keep both of the dogs on a leash and then walk them past each other. And as you finally reach each other, you can allow the dogs to start sniffing and this will be their first interaction. And if it goes well, you can allow them to play more just for a brief moment and then walk them away in different directions. And keeping these interactions short between the new and the resident dog avoids certain signs of aggression to come up when they first meet. That's really important, that first impression, because if they are mad at each other, then you've got to back up and get them on mad and then go forward. Exactly. So try not to let them have a misunderstanding from the get-go. Yes. Yeah. And that's what they recommend if you notice that there are some forms of aggression coming up when you're walking the dogs towards each other, you should just walk them away mm -hmm. and then you know wait a little while and try again. Okay, so when bringing your new dog home for the first time, it's important to keep the dogs in separate rooms or personal kennels. Um, you should allow your new dog to roam around freely and this will allow your dog to become more accustomed to the house and all of his new surroundings. And then you can allow your resident dog to roam once the new hag has once the new dog has been put away in his own space, or you can put him outside of your yard. Um, and when bringing home a new dog, the resident dog will need extra reassurance that the owner still loves them because you're bringing in a new pet. So this is a good time to show like extra affection and attention to your resident dog. And the resident dog is just the older dog. Um, and then you should always. Um, Keep your dogs separate while you're away. This kind of just avoids injury or the development of like bad behaviors, um, like house soiling or chewing things up. You just don't want them to get into any fights while you're away, especially since they just first met. Um, and you should also feed them in different areas. Um, jealousy is a big problem with dogs, so you shouldn't allow them to kind of see each other when they're first eating, when they're like first getting to know each other, they'll want each other's food, try to take everything. And that's a big way to start a fight in the beginning. So it's best to feed them in separate rooms. You can do like one in the kitchen, one in the laundry room where the other one can't see. Okay, so for every new dog, they'll go through an adjustment period, and these are kind of some of the common signs that you'll see. Um, stress and anxiety, nervous behaviors like whining or barking. Um, you also see that your new dog may show signs of fear or aggression. And this may lead to them attempting to escape or avoid you. Um, and it's really important to allow your dog to come to you instead of pressuring them. A lot of people want to, right off the bat, like kind of try to pet or grab or hug them. And these are all um, these are all primate behaviors, not canine behaviors. So it's going to take your dog a little while to adjust. Um, so every new dog should be given that time period to adjust to his new home, the new family, as well as the resident dog. They also may refuse to eat just because you know they're nervous and such in their new environment. So you may see that over the first couple of days. Um, but this also will help if the dog is able to eat without having that stress of the old dog being around in the area. Um, and also there may be some house training issues. You know, the dog may start chewing things up because they're new, nervous. Okay, so some common tips. I would say would be to take your time. It's a very delicate situation introducing a new dog with an old dog. Um, you should also try to reward them for good behavior. So if you see them interacting well, you can reward them both. You know, if you see them doing anything good, definitely reward. And you have to remember that dogs are territorial and they use a hierarchy system to assign their dominance. So there probably will be an alpha dog. Um, sometimes they don't always assign dominance. It'll be like situational. So. And one dog may decide, you know, this is my couch, but you can have this toy. So sometimes they do that kind of thing. Um, but you should al avoid allowing the dogs to mark the territory in common household areas, so the living room, bedrooms. You don't want them to personally mark any of those areas. And I have a little video to dogs meeting. These are all good suggestions. And you can see the owner keeps the new dog on a leash, and another one comes in to meet them. They'll sniff around, <laughs> sniff each other's butts a little bit. <laughs> <And then> like, <laughs> 
I feel sorry for the new dog. Yeah, she's a little nervous. And you'll see that the owner kind of keeps all the interactions short and sweet, you know, doesn't let them interact too much. The dog kind of walks away, but the owner just kind of, you know, turns them around. Poodle wants to play. Yeah. Okay, ready for questions? <coughs> yeah, you know, when I have animals brought to class, a lot of times they're single, but if they're two dogs that don't know each other, the worst thing you can have is a little misunderstanding because then that's kind of like takes away from neutral. So like if there's any doubt, we always have them on the leash and then let them look at each other, not touch each other. And uh, I think in my 446 class one day we, maybe at the end of the hour, we were able to let one off the leash because one was going to be too rough with the other one, but it takes some uh, case by case basis is really what it is. Anybody have any Comments or questions on that? Anybody have any experience, good or bad? What worked, what didn't? Pretty quiet group, here we go. Um, I know you may remember when I talked about my stepmother's old chap. He was a chow mix, he was really old. And okay. he, was, he was going blind and deaf, so he, but then when they brought in a puppy, he was a dog to the mix. Um, high strung around the old dog and the old dog. Right. Sammy had to be put up a lot because he was deaf and he was, he was old, deaf and mm -hmm. going blind. Was he nipping as a new puppy or? Yeah, he would growl because oh, yeah. yeah. he would sit at Alicia's feet all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were, but she, he was attached yeah. to her. Right, right. So he would like go away and just she took him credit because the, the puppy was too. Oh, yeah. Too rambunctious. Yeah, and it was really nuts. <coughs> that, that's what's bad about an old dog and a new dog. The new puppy can almost actually hurt the old dog depending on size differences because they. The puppy wants to play wrestle, and if it's a smaller, older dog and a larger, younger dog, got to be careful because the older dog can get hurt. So um, I actually, I got Shadow not too long ago, and my mom has had a Puggle since she was one. Now she's will be 13 in January. So like introducing them was definitely kind of an interesting thing. Mm -hmm. But Sophie, which is the Puggle, she is. Definitely the boss. Okay. Um, we have like a little footstool in our family room, and she just jumps on top of it and like towers over him. And, okay. Okay. Like, That's how nips, she does it. Yeah, and she like nips his like, legs to keep him in like in yeah. line. Okay. And, like, yeah. Shadow didn't like Stella either. <laughs> we took Stella to meet Shadow when she went to adopt Shadow. Okay. Really, like, yeah. 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 It's a so, case by case basis. Stella's noxious. That's for sure. <laughs> True. Yeah. She's noxious. A little bit. Yeah. I'm sure we all know this, but I think it's also important, like mentioned, to like watch our own. How way we're presenting ourselves and acting around the dog. Oh yeah. It's like our own energy is going to make the other dogs anxious. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a, like, it, like she was saying, Brianna was saying, it's a whole package. You guys see what you're doing, what the dog behavior is. <coughs> Got to do it right. Then after a while, it works out. But okay, thank you. Good suggestion.